Hello and welcome back, this is Steve at Bucks Coin and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a naughty but nice battle. This is where I get two sets of coins that were donated to me by Captain Coinman and I produced a battle. He gave me a set of coins that he called naughty and a set of coins that he called nice. I asked him what was his defining factor and he said well the nice ones are coins that I particularly like and the naughty ones are the rest. Which doesn't really tell me why he called na them naughty. Um, there's nothing specific that made them naughty. So, what, I'm going to, what I've done throughout these battles, and this is the sixth one now, um, is I've asked you to decide which one of the sets of coins that you'd want in your collection and it's based purely on the way that the, I'm only showing you the way they look I'm not going to give you any information you just purely make up your mind from your own knowledge and also the coin designs themselves as to what you want that will of course depend on whether you are what you are collecting in particular this first coin is a 1 yen coin So that's the first coin. If we get if we got two of them there. And a third one. And a fourth one. And believe it or not, a fifth one. So we have five Japanese one yen coins there. So are you putting a one yen date run together? This one is a Thai coin. Slightly different background to what you would normally get on a Thai bark coin. So it's a newer design. And we have two one, one bark coins there, which was the old design, which is the one with the temple in it. The other one might have been a commemorative. That one goes that way round. Unfortunately this is a very badly worn coin. However, there is the design on there that you can have a look at. You decide whether it's one coin that you think is worth collecting. That's the other side. We then have a very diddy coin. That's one side of it. And there's the other side. And lastly, we have a really Israeli coin. So that completes the nice set. You'll certainly fill in a few holes if you're collecting some Japanese coins. Right, here's the first of the next set. You have a 20p from Ireland there. 
prior to the Euros, of course. There you have five Irish coins, all one pingu, not one penny. And they show the chick and hen. Let's take that back down a bit now. And there you go. We have another Irish coin there. With the harp on the back, and then we have the half penny pre decimal pig. We have one from the British Commonwealth country, and that is from Canada, and there's the reverse. And finally we go back to Ireland. There we have the harp and we have the old sixpence. Sorry, the old threepence. Silver threepenny bit. Now I'm not sure if it's actually silver, maybe just silver in colour. I'm not too sure of whether it was silver in real life. You'll have to look at where the date is and judge for yourself. So this is a nice section. Lots and lots of Irish coins, mainly one pennies from different years, the old one pence from different years. A one nice 20p horse, and you've got of course the threatening rabbit and the half p pig. So a good selection of Irish coins there. Uh, so if you have an Irish collection, then that may be the set for you. That's the naughty, and this is the nice ones. Mainly, uh, uh, maybe one yen and some toy coins there. So, if you're looking to put the date to run together in those areas, then there may be this set is for you. Back in the bag. This is a naughty or nice battle. You make your decision on which would be the best set for you and for your collection. There is no right or wrong answer, so it's just what your feelings are. If you're having a hunt, I hope you have a successful one and you find the coins you're looking for. If you're buying coins, I hope you can find the right coins set the right place for yourself. I am currently uh, looking to increase my subscriber level. I set myself a target of gaining an extra 150 subscribers this year, which I've now thankfully completed. And I reached the target in, of 250 by the end of uh, November 2023. I'll be setting a new target in January, and at that point I'll let you know what the target is going to be. However, I still want people to subscribe to the channel. So if you believe I deserve this and you've enjoyed it, please give me a like. And if you think I, as I say, I deserve your subscription, would you please also subscribe. Thank you for watching to the end and until we meet up again on this channel, which I hope will be not too far into the distant future. From me, thank you for joining in and bye-bye. Ta-da now.